Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope we are all doing well and thank you very much for tuning in. So the Aerosoft CRJ is finally upon us in Microsoft Flight Simulator and in this series we will dive into the tutorial flight as per volume 3 in the documentation following it step by step as we take the CRJ from cold and dark at the stand in Paderborn, Germany, up into the sky and back onto the stand, fully shut down in Munich. This is an absolutely stunning flight, so without further ado, let's get into it. So to begin with, I'd like to mention a few things about the content of these tutorials. So if you are a customer of this add-on, this tutorial is particularly important as if you ever need any support from Aerosoft, one of the first things they will ask you is whether you have completed this tutorial. I'll also assume for this tutorial that you have actually looked through volume one in the documentation and that you have the add-on installed and working in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And in order to keep these videos as concise and clear as possible, I will follow through the documentation in the order it is presented and I will try, I promise I will try, to refrain from giving any overly lengthy explanations of why we do certain things uh, along with my own opinions. Like I say, just to keep it nice and concise. If you're interested in that kind of thing, there are some fantastic explanations of why and what certain things do in the manual. So I highly recommend that you follow along with that to hand. Please also feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I will also display the appropriate page number that we are going to be on corresponding to the manual in the corner of the screen at all times. So you can easily pause the video and refer back to the document at any point. I will also display full wording on the screen of any unusual or interesting acronyms. This full series is available on release of the Aerosoft CRJ. Just click the prompt in the top right of the screen now or at any time to view the full playlist. Mobile users can tap on the three dots in the top right and then from Bobby Fuzzy in the menu that appears. And a link to the playlist will also be in the description. Following this series, I will be making some videos that dive deeper into certain topics and systems. So if you want to see more CRJ content, make sure you're subscribed for that. Okay, so before we open the document, there's a few recommendations I want to make. I've ran through the tutorial a few times now and come up with a few things that I'd like to suggest that aren't in the documentation. So. First of all, you may want to create a new profile for any controllers that you want to use with the CRJ. This is especially important if you're a user of the Thrustmaster TCA Quadrant and add-on, like myself, as I found the default bindings that I use with the Airbus, for example, uh, had some strange behaviors with the CRJ. You can do this by opening up your options from the uh, main menu. Going 
go into controls, clicking on the controller you want to amend. I'll amend the TCA quadrant in this instance. Click on preset manager here at the bottom and uh, select create new profile here with the uh, plus sign on the left hand side and uh, give it a name. Once that's then created, you can go ahead and bind the controls to your taste. I am going to do a completely separate video on control bindings at a later date, specific to the TCA quadrant and add-on. But for now, all you want to make sure of is uh, one thing. You need to make sure that when you bind your throttle axis, that you actually use this particular assignment here for the throttle one and throttle two. So if I actually expand this by going to all, you'll see there is another throttle axis. I'll just filter this so it's easier for you to see. So here's the two options you have for throttle one axis. What you want to make sure is if that you bind throttle one axis and not throttle one axis not to 100%. This one is the one that works with the CRJ. This is what you would normally use for or what I've personally used for all my other aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. However, that does not work properly with the CRJ. You will need to use throttle one axis and throttle two axis. Whilst you are in the options here, I would consider going back to the assistance menu, opening that up, clicking on user experience, and I would turn the ATC voices to off. We are not going to be using ATC at all in this tutorial, so to stop them from being distracting, I would just turn them off and keep things nice and clean. And last but certainly not least, what I would recommend doing is downloading the Paderborn Lipstadt Airport add-on by Aerosoft. This is a free add-on available either in the marketplace, which you can find by going over and searching for Echo Delta Lima Papa, Or you can find this on Aerosoft's website, which I will leave a link to in the description of the video. This is our departure airport for today for the tutorial flight. So if you want to be able to follow along exactly, it is advised to have this add on at the very least. If not, that's also fine. You can still complete the tutorial, but it is one of the best and full featured freeware add ons going. So I highly, highly recommend it. Okay then, so let's get started with the tutorial. First of all, go to the description of this video and download the weather preset. I prepared a preset that will match the weather conditions as noted in the tutorial. Uh, this will save you a bunch of time from putting it all in manually. And to add this to your sim, obviously first download it to a folder where you know where it is then make sure the simulator is not running. First of all, for the Microsoft Store version, the easiest way to do this is to press the Windows key on your keyboard and R to bring up the run dialog. Type in percent local app data and percent again. Press OK and that will bring up your app data local folder. Now you want to scroll down until you see packages or just simply hit P on your keyboard to take you down there. Double click on the packages folder. Scroll down until you see microsoft.flightsimulator underscore and then this uh, string of numbers and letters. Then double click on the local state folder, weather, presets, 
and then you'll be brought to this folder here. These are all the weather presets that are in your game. You may find there is nothing in here. Don't worry about that. So you'll want to copy over the preset you downloaded into this directory. So in my case, I downloaded the file to my desktop. So I'll just bring that up real quick. I've got the weather preset here, so I will copy that and paste it in this folder. Now, I can't show you exactly how to do it for the Steam version. However, the process is extremely similar. Hit your Windows key and R, type in percent app data this time rather than local app data. Press OK or enter and then you'll want to look for the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder within this folder here. This will bring up app data roaming and the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder should be in here. You'll then want to search for uh, the weather folder and then presets and then copy and paste the file into there. I'll put the file pass for both versions of the sim in the description as well uh, so that you can just have a look at that as a reference if needs be. Next, let's access the tutorial document. So I am going to assume you know where your community folder is. If you don't know where it is, just have a quick Google to find where your community folder is or have a look here on YouTube. There's a lot of information about it. However, you'll want to locate your community folder, open up the Aerosoft CRJ folder, and then go to data, documentation, and then you want to open up volume three tutorial. If you are not yet an owner of this add-on, I've included a link in the description where you can download the document, give it a read and follow through if you wish. You may also wish to print the document to allow you to highlight it and make notes here and there as I did when I first read through the document. We will begin the video tutorial on page eight. However, please read through the prior pages so that you are familiar with our routing and fuel requirements. Don't worry too much about this section about the weather and it does reference a situation file Obviously, we've just downloaded and set up a weather preset, which is going to basically mean that all this data is going to be matched exactly in our presets. The reason I'm doing this is because I am using a pre-release version of the aircraft. So the situation file doesn't exist yet. However, if it is in the release version, please feel free to use that. However, I would recommend doing it the way I'm suggesting as personally I've had mixed success with situation files in the past. Okay, so let's jump back to the simulator then and get set up. So going to the world map, we want to make sure the CRJ700 is selected. So we'll go to airliners and select the CRJ700ER. Liveries, we can select for this flight the Lufthansa livery. There are two liveries included here. I'm going to go with this first one because I prefer it. The only difference between the two is the paint on the tail. Then go to the weight and balance. Make sure your empty CG position is set to 35% MAC. I believe this is the default position but just double check that. Fuel and payload, we don't need to worry about. We are gonna set that once we get into the simulator. Failures, leave all to off. And customization, you want to make sure all these fields are blank. These are set to off and the flight model adjustment sliders here. Make sure they're all set to zero and zero. Now let's close the menu here and we want to go to our from drop down here. We're gonna search for Echo Delta Lima Papa, Paderborn Lipstadt. 
and we are going to select gate one. So this should say gate one small. If you are using the Aerosoft scenery I mentioned earlier on. And uh, if you're not using that, you want to select gate three, three. I believe it is in a fairly similar position. So all that leaves now is just to set up the weather. So we're going to head up to the flight conditions tab. We'll make sure on multiplayer off group only is selected. Air traffic is set to off and weather and time we shall set to custom. Now we want to make sure in this drop down the CRJ volume three tutorial weather is selected. That is going to bring in all the information from the manual. And we'll also set the date to February the 5th, 2021. We'll also set the time to 8.30 in the morning local time, which should read as 7.30 Zulu time or UTC. Let's now close this page and review this screen is appearing as it does as you're watching it on the video. So we've got the CRJ 700. We've got Paderborn Lipstadt at gate one. Remember if you're using the Aerosoft scenery. Flight conditions we've just set. You should see this symbol. And the time is local time 8.30 in the morning, 7.30 Zulu time. And once you've got that, click fly. So when you first load the CRJ700, as you can see from the tooltip at the bottom here, the loading times can be extended. So it could take up to 10 minutes whilst the CRJ loads for the very first time. And it will do this for both variants on only the first time that you load the aircraft. So please be patient. Don't assume the simulator has crashed. I know obviously some people have a lot of issues with that, uh, but just hang on for at least 10 minutes. And as it says here, the simulator may be unresponsive, but it is still doing something. Uh, it's just loading all the initial files for the aircraft for the first time. Once you're loaded in, join me in the next video and we'll get acquainted with the EFB and proceed with our initial checklists. Remember, a link to the playlist is in the description of this video or you click in the top right of the video to easily get access to the next video on the playlist. Please let me know what you thought of this tutorial by giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss future CRJ content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.